Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nara and here we're discussing all things astrology and spirituality. And this video is about Pisces or Neptune in the 11th house of your chart. If you don't know your personal planetary placements and the house system, if you don't know your rising sign, your moon sign, you've never done any chart, chart analysis before, and don't even have a chart <laughs> uh, with you, then you might want to go to astro.com and choose free horoscopes and uh, calculate your ascending, okay? Your house system and your ascending, this way you'll be able to look at your 11th house and various placements, okay? Um, but what is Pisces in the 11th house? So, 11th house belongs to the sign of Aquarius, okay? it's yeah so we have 12 houses right in astrology and it's literally a house before the last one which is 12th which belongs to pisces um you might also have a 11th house in aquarius uh with pisces as well so pisces will also apply to you but obviously you know you might have um if you are familiar with your chart you might have noticed that some houses uh contain two zodiac signs right so here we, we will primarily um consider um and you know take um seriously the cusp okay first and the secondary is going to be the second zodiac sign okay so that's just that um but besides that the 11th house it belongs to the sign of aquarius um it's a house of friendships um along with um third house and hold on third house and the fifth house the sixth house and the fifth house too so it's all the social houses right it's the people we connect with, the people we're drawn to, you know, emotionally, especially if we have Pisces there. So it's the like-minded individuals who you're drawn to, and it's usually when you're an adult. It's not when you're like 18 or 20 even. It's like, I would say like 20, over 25, you know, people who are drawn to based on your emotional and mental social needs, okay? And it's usually a group of friends, Pisces in the 11th or Neptune in the 11th, same interpretation. It's usually a group of friends that provide you that emotional connection with whom you can feel um, emotionally at peace with um, based on that emotional and soul level feeling you're choosing your friends whom you can relax with, not think about problems, but rather, um, you know, dive into your emotional world and be there for each other kind of thing. These people may also have a lot of friends who they drink with. By the way, I'm drinking wine. So these people might be drawn to drinking uh, just to, you know, calm down emotionally or change their emotional state. And they may have like um, a local pub they go to or bar uh, where they know everybody. Okay, and that's what brings them that emotional stability and pretty much that's why they go and drink there. <laughs> For Pisces in the 11th. <laughs> okay, so this is the 11th house, right? But the 11th house also represents groups of people, groups of friends. So these people are usually um, drawn to friends who have some type of artistic ability or are artists at heart who channel their emotions in their professions um it can be you know healers or spiritual teachers or they might also belong to different groups various religious groups or spiritual groups sorry i had to change my hair um like different religious groups di different social groups they might be you know uh connected to different sects as well so this is actually a very um, the most prominent, okay, <laughs> emphasize danger for this placement because these people can trust others and they may, might be deceived by like various sects, like religious uh, sects and stuff and spiritual groups, you know, who don't have good intentions for folks, especially if you have Neptune in hard aspects there, okay? So this is something to keep in mind. Um, also, and just with friends, because remember Pisces is 
Like Piscean nature is to dissolve with the environment. And wherever your Pisces is placed, in whatever house, that would mean that this area of your life is the most unfocused. It's where you're the most unfocused in your life, okay? So mine is in the sixth house of routine. I'm unfocused. Like, if you call me with your problems, I will completely forget about what I was doing. Even though it's very important. I mean, I'm still like, thankfully I have that Virgo in opposition, with, which allows me to kind of get back to my senses. But when I was younger, especially like not having direction in life and not deciding for myself what I really wanted to be and acting from that decision and that intention, I was easily swayed by other people's problems, by other events. And six, my Pisces in the in, is in the fourth house, sorry, sixth house, which is routine and work. I, I'm not working for other people, like I can't. And I was so many, like so many times I was deceived at work. I was deceived by they wouldn't pay me enough. You know, later on I would find out, which is like month later, um, that I was underpaid big time and I would just let things slide. And this is Pisces, okay? So you might have that with friends. You might let people, you know, people's red flags slide and not really, you know, take um, it into, into consideration too much, but you should with this placement. <laughs> Because it's easy, easy to deceive these people because they have, they're very unfocused, okay? They're very emotional. Like, they are dreamy. They're like not emotional where like sad emotions. No, it's like they're dreamy. They, they just, you know, uh, whatever they are presented with, they're not fulfilled. And they may be drawn to spiritual groups just for that connection, okay? In different groups because 11th house is the groups, it's the friendships, okay? Um, especially if you have hard aspects. This might indicate the deception by others, or you might feel like um, not knowing where to go in life, okay? And not understanding like your mission and kind of aim aimlessly wander in your life, okay? And uh, like, especially with whatever Pisces placement, in whatever house you have Pisces, you in that area of life you have to become very decisive so this is like as an astrologer as a counselor as someone who you know uses astrology to help people um live a better and more fulfilling life you know we just looking at hard aspects and 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 trying to see what we can do with it because there's always solutions even if you have hard placements trust me so the neptune hard placement will, would mean that you need to be more decisive and understand for yourself what you really want in life because if you don't then you will be influenced by other people deceived by other people okay because in in that area of your life you feel the most dreamy and the most unfocused okay which doesn't mean that you're not logical so actually logic completely uh, like it, it doesn't exist in that area of your life okay and your decisions might be might be based on the feeling which is nothing wrong with that but if they're influenced that feeling is influenced by other people's intentions and desires then that might mislead you and uh, you know you might do the job let's say at work but somebody else gets credit for it because they deceived you into believing something because of that unfocused nature okay so for these people, you gotta actually be more on the lookout for these things. I mean, not to expect bad, bad things to happen, but be aware that this is something that's possible. And if you feel intuitively not to trust folks, don't do it and be more decisive about the career path you wanna take. Because if you don't know what you wanna do in life, um, that's, you know, the, the deception, like being kinda, not fulfilling your life's purpose is more emphasized, okay? So so for these people and Pisces, period, you are here to gain some of the characteristics of Virgo, which is your opposite sign, right? Which is detail orientation, focusing on one thing at a time, not just like, hey, I'm dreamy and I see everything, I see the reality, which is a cool state of mind and emotion to be in. However, if it's not... You know, we, we don't live in a good world, okay? I mean, the life is great, world is great, but we have some toxic people. And and with this placement, you might trust people too much, okay? And um, yeah, so the best bet for you would be is to develop those decision-making skills where you don't, um, 
when you're just don't be indecisive okay that's when you're the most the weakest mentally and psychologically so try to make your decisions and act from them and don't be swayed by them okay so yeah i feel like i've covered pretty much everything for this video but yeah guys thank you all very much for watching if this video resonated with you please let me know in the comment section down below i would love to hear that but if it didn't still let me know but yeah Thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye y'all.